I now want to show how to use RStudio to take a closer look at the uniform distribution. I'm actually going to need to start with a vector. And this vector is really going to depend on what uniform distribution I'm looking at. Since I want to look at 0 to 1, I want my numbers right around 0 and 1. So I'm actually going to build x to be my sequence from negative 0.5 to 1.5 by 0 0.01. And I chose these values because, like I said, I want to consider the uniform distribution between 0 and 1, so I went slightly outside of that. And I actually want to look at the PDF to start with. So I'm going to define a variable known as PDF. And the command I want is D-U-N-I-F. The first thing I want to input here is x, my actual sequence, my vector. I then need the minimum value for my PDF, my, prop, my uniform distribution. So we want to look at the distribution from 0 to 1. I then need the maximum, which is 1. And I also put this semicolon to suppress the output of this particular function. And finally, I want to build a plot. My plot is going to be x comma pdf. My x-axis is given by my sequence. That's the main reason I wanted it to be really close to 0 and 1. And then my y-axis is going to be the pdf that we just generated. As I run this, we can see my pdf down here at the bottom right. For everything less than 0, the probability is 0. For everything bigger than 1, the probability is 0. And everything in between has a probability of 1. I also want to look at the CDF, and this command is going to be P-U-N-I-F. When we do this, it's going to be very similar to our PDF command. We're going to enter our vector, our minimum, and our maximum. And once again, we'll end in a semicolon to suppress the output. And then we'll do the plot and see what this graph looks like. So as I run these, I have my CDF here at the bottom. Everything smaller than zero has a probability of zero, a CDF of zero. We then have just the function x, and then everything bigger than one is one. So this is how we can generate the PDF and CDF of a uniform distribution using R. There is one other thing we can do if we want a random sample of values in our particular uniform distribution. Then we're going to use this R U N I F command. So this is the random uniform. We're going to start with the number of values that we want. Let's say we want 100. Then we do our minimum and the maximum. And then we can run this to actually get 100 random variables in this particular distribution. And here we have them. So this is 100 different values in the random un in the uniform distribution between 0 and 1.